Hey everybody, today I am going to show you how I cut up and process power boards with no prying, no nail holes, no nails, none of that kind of stuff. It's quick, it's easy, and at the end you get a good clean board with clean edges and a clean top and bottom. Now I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube that show people how to take apart a pallet. This is how I do it. Um, you're not going to get some long boards with a bunch of nail holes in it. You're going to get probably like um, 12 to 15 inch boards that are clean on both sides and then you can use them for anything. And yes, so I don't have to go searching all over the internet looking for free music, something that's going to work perfect with this video. I'm just going to play some simple guitar. The first thing I do is lay everything out, and today I'm going to be cutting up seven pallets. Some are older, some are newer, different conditions, different thicknesses, sort of across the board. So you want to find pallets that have this HT on it, that means heat treated. If you don't have the HT on it, then it'll be chemically treated or some other process. So when you cut it up, it'll be extremely unsafe even sometimes if you have a mask on. The other safety piece is wearing your PPE, personal protective equipment. That's my gloves, ear protection, and of course, eye protection. And just so you guys know, I'm not saying this just for a YouTube video or something like that. I really do this in everything I do. Because you only have two eyes and ten fingers, and when they're gone, they're gone, if you know what I mean. Okay, lecture's over. So as you can see, I don't pry any of the pallets. I cut everything up. I don't want nail holes. I don't want to take the time to use a pry bar and a hammer and pry everything. I just want to cut it and I want to have good wood fast. So I just use this circular saw. I get boards that are one to two feet in length. It's all different types of wood. Sometimes I get like exotic rosewood from pallets from India. And you know, there's a lot of pine, but there's all sorts of different stuff. Mahogany, maple, the other day I had a bunch of oak, like two pallets of really nice oak. Okay, so once I get everything cleaned up, I do go through and cut off some of the worst ends, pieces that uh, would be kind of problematic going through the planer. Eventually, I'll kind of square the ends of everything, but we're not going to worry about that right now. The next thing I do is to organize all the boards from thickest to thinnest. Now that we've got all of our wood pieces organized by thickness, we can put them through the planer. The reason we organize them by thickness is because we want to put the thickest pieces in the planer first. So then as the planer goes down, we're getting thinner and thinner. So we can see as we put in, let's say we put in a thick piece and it planes a little bit, and we start planing that down and we start putting in a medium piece, and it doesn't plane that much. Well, we know that we need to keep getting that planer down as we do the medium pieces and then the thin pieces and eventually they all get planed. So the way I found it to be most efficient as opposed to going the opposite way or just kind of doing a few at a time, we can get them all done by going thick to thin. And it's so much faster. In a minute I'll share a little tip on how I straight edge both sides of the boards, but I like to plane first just to kind of see what I'm working with. You can skip ahead if you want, but uh, I just like to watch myself go so fast because it helps me feel like I'm being really productive.
Hey, there's a happy guy. Okay, so when I'm putting a straight edge on the long end of the boards, oftentimes I'll have a convex side and a concave side, right? It's curved. So I always put the concave side, the side that's curved in, towards the fence because if I put it the other way, then it wobbles. You see how it has that high center? So flip it over and now everything runs smoothly because I have those two points of contact. So I run it through on that side, flip it over, and then clean the other side up. And there it is, a bunch of good usable boards of all types of wood with no nail holes. And that probably took me about two and a half hours. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Uh, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button so I can keep putting out videos that have something a little new and unique or a little different twist on something else. So, alright. Thanks everybody.